Okay, now we, we will begin the uh, STAR portion of our tutorial. Uh, STAR stands for Standard Terminal Arrival Route. It's a route flown at the end that gets you uh, to your destination using the uh, highway analogy from the first one. Uh, these are like the exit ramps that get you off of the highway headed toward your airport. For those of you who are, are visual people, um, you would take off, say here, this would be your SID right there, SID. And then you would go on the highway, do 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 do. And then you would go, get off, there's your star. And gets you to your destination. Alright, this is the Bramer 4 arrival, which is the one that we filed in our uh, example flight plan earlier on in the uh, first tutorial. We're using the make and transition, which is this guy right here. So the uh, Ozark 3 departure that we used from St. Louis backs right up to that. Um, so be flying in on that. And then this is pretty simple. Now I know there's a lot of information, but from Macon to the Quorum intersection, there's some information. Um, first, it means that you need to be descending to 12,000 feet. Um, the heading should be 263 degrees, and it's approximately 34 miles. Then from Quorum to Bramer, it's 265 degree heading, 31 miles, and you'll be descending to 8,000 feet. Then, see there are all these other transitions over here. Uh, you, then they all meet together here at Bramer. You go to Don's, descend to 3,000 feet, heading 234, 10 miles between there. And then from there you would either split this way and go to Matt's. Um, or you would continue on the arrival uh, and continue on 10 miles. Then you would join the next state 3000, 234 degrees, 19 miles to the by geck. Then you would head heading 190. And from here, you would get radar vectors back to with the uh, airport, which for us is Kansas City. Here's the River 2 arrival, which was from our longer distance. Um, to Los Angeles from St. Louis. We were using the PGS, which is Peach Springs. This one is very simple. So you're coming over from St. Louis and you join Peach Springs. Then there you would go heading 229 degrees, 79 miles. That's what I was saying. They can go for a long time to the uh, Eaton intersection. Um, you'd be at flight level 250, which is 25,000 feet. Um, this little holding pattern right here, that's if you were coming in too high and you needed to descend or maybe for spacing, they would give you that loop right there just to get some space between you and the people in front of you. Then you continue 228 degrees for 41 miles to Bugga, then uh, 224 degrees for 15 miles at flight level 230 to Dykes, then so on flight level 210, 227 for 24 miles. Emmy, so on, 14,227 degrees, 39 miles. There's another holding pattern right there. Then you can continue 8 miles at 8,000 feet. Another holding pattern you would take, or could take, you don't have to take all these. Then you continue heading 249, 8,000 feet for 4 miles. Then same heading for 6 miles. Then you would get radar vectors in to Los Angeles. Finally, we have AirNav. You come to this page, click Airports, type in the identifier or the name, get airport information, and uh, there you go. It gives you a whole lot of information map, sky view. Um, local uh, VORs, 
There's a sectional chart. This one would be your taxi chart. Download the PDF. There's a distance calculator, runway information. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you get the stars, instrument approach procedures, which uh, we haven't talked about. Um, and then there are the departure procedures. So that's all the useful airports uh, that you need for now.